Having Capture One with me when I do portraits gives me a sense of security. It makes me confident that I will always have the best colors and the best quality. Before I even touch the camera, I always walk around the location to try and work out where the light is going to be the best. I look around the room, I see what's available to me. Maybe I find a chair for the person to sit in. I always try to make the portrait situation itself quite intimate. I'm Simon Baumgård. Today we're at the Wilhelm Lauritsen terminal here in Copenhagen, and I'm going to take you through how I do portraits using Capture One. I always try to make a very relaxed setting and I never try to force anything on the people that I'm taking pictures of. This is the setup. I always tether when I'm doing portraits. It keeps me in control and it makes it easy to collaborate. This allows me to show my subject what I'm actually doing while I'm doing it. And it allows for a conversation about what portrait we want to do. Of what we've been doing. I think this is super nice as well. And it's just a way nicer process for everyone involved. Once I've found the setting I want for the portrait, I'll do a quick edit, a few quick slider adjustments, and I'm exactly where I want to be. Capture One will then automatically apply this to the rest of the images I'm taking. Lean on like one arm, that's nice. Left. I think the most important element to a great portrait is having the right light. It's nice if you're facing the room a bit. That makes the light look super nice. Yeah, something like that. The light is really what shapes the face in a portrait. A big and soft light that's going to be really flattering for a face. Or you can go with a more narrow beam hard light that's going to add a lot of depth and drama to the image. We can see that there are some obvious blemishes that we want to work on. Going all in and then dialing it back to find a nice balance. Right away, my retouching adjustments are being applied automatically to the rest of the images I'm taking. It would feel super nice if you were somehow facing Nancy a bit more. I think movement plays a big role in portraiture in terms of bringing the portrait to life. And I also think it can help tell a story, basically. I need to see what's working and what's not right away. This allows me to focus and direct. Yeah. Now I'll show you how easy it is to refine the look. The new retouching tools lets me smooth skin, contour and reduce dark circles. I can also clean up blemishes without losing the natural look. It's subtle and it looks right. Moving on to the next portrait. Two faces, which Capsule One has already detected. So what I can do is I can choose the one I want to work with. I then want to move on and even the skin. These new amazing features in Capture One saves me a ton of time on every portrait. I can simply copy and do a batch apply to all my images. The editing tools are simple but powerful and slide right into my workflow. From capture to delivery, I can pretty much start and finish the shoot without ever leaving the software. So this was my introduction into how I do photography and portraiture in particular. I hope it's been inspiring and I hope you go out and do something great on your own.